All right, it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to this ring light. It's kind of bright. And I have a feeling it's gonna blind me by the time I'm done making videos on YouTube. Unless I get some better lighting wherever I, you know. We'll see. But for right now, we're going with the ring light, but we're not keeping the glasses. We'll see you after the intro. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Pop This and Pop That. I am your host with the most BMI, Marcus, coming at you live with another pop video. How have y'all been? How have you been? I've been doing all right, you know, um, taking some vacations, some trips, working, all that stuff. You know, working, it's not bad. I never took myself for a manual labor type person, but it's working, you know what I mean? We're getting it done. So anyways, how have you guys been? Have y'all been collecting? I sure hope so. Such a great time to be a collector. Great time. We have San Diego Comic Con news. Well, not news per se, but rumors. Rumors, 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 and more rumors. So, I said San Diego Comic Con, didn't I? I sure did. I'm at New York City Comic Con. Because San Diego Comic Con just passed. And my wallet just reminded me of that. <laughs> so anyways, New York City Comic Con takes place at the end of October usually. Right? At the beginning of... I don't know, I've never been. Um, I can't remember offhand, but normally it takes place at fall at the time of the year. And one of the biggest cons, of course, New York. But, you know, given the current situation, it was canceled for the year, unfortunately. And But we are still going to have an online con like we did with San Diego Comic Con and Emerald City Comic Con. What does that mean for us? Same things, hopefully Funko fixes their servers and we will be good to go. So we try to buy our pops because if we're not, I'm gonna be upset. I'm, I'm being honest, I'm gonna be upset. Because the last time I thought I wasn't gonna get any of the stuff I wanted and thankfully I was able to, I got my Anchorman pops. I didn't get the con sticker, but I'm, I'm grateful to have them. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause there's people who didn't get their stuff and that's, that's just tragic. It's ridiculous that, you know, people have to go through that. But anyways. New York City Comic Con is around the corner. Pops are coming. More pops and more pops. Nothing's been confirmed yet. So don't you know take this with with as much as you can trust me, okay? I have the list here, okay? Okay? It's on my phone. Let's go ahead and pull that list up. So there's a rumored list of pops. I believe there's 20 right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. 24 right now. Rumored for and some of them I've heard rumors out about before. So that's what I was thinking, you know, this is this is might be actually true or at least partially true. Uh, so starting from the top, we got a DC Nightwing, uh, Nightwing pop. So my guess is if we get a Nightwing pop, it's going to be one of those limited, like the Black Lightning pop from San Diego Comic Con. Uh, only because, you know, we haven't got a Nightwing pop in a while. The ones we do have are kind of expensive. So this new one that we get, uh, it's probably going to be a con exclusive as well. Um, something that has a low number, maybe about three, four, five hundred. Uh, Okay, so that's that's a cool I like Nightwing. Um I just gotta see what that pop looks like. It's gonna be interesting. If that is true. Uh also from Dragon Ball we have we have Jackie Chun. You know what I'm talking about there. We got Emperor Pilaf. Pilaf, Pilaf, Pilaf sounds better. I think that's correct. Right and Kefla. So those are three Dragon Ball Pops, you know, rumored for New York City Comic Con. Uh Pretty solid pieces. I'll definitely have to add them all to my collection if that if that is true. Um, so my wallet's already saying, oh, "Really, bro?" So, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Um, next, we have another up two pack. So uh, last year for San Diego Comic Con, we got the I think it was San Diego. Um, we got the two pack of um, Carl and Ellie when they were children um, from the you know opening sequence of the movie. And then, so it looks like they're gonna follow. It looks like they're rumored to follow it up with the uh, the older versions of them. Um, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, that's probably gonna be one of those that you have to chase as well because for some reason these con two packs, some of them go, some of them are hit, some of them are missed. But with these Disney ones, they're always hit for some reason. You know, because it's Disney probably. Also, we have Andre the Giant, uh, his character in the Princess Bride. It's gonna be a six inch pop. I saw a lot of Andre the Giant pops at my at my at my Walmart. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna take those molds and redo them, but it's a cool pop as well. Uh, we have a Sydney. What is that? 
I'm not sure. It's a, it's an anime pop. Uh, if you know that one, help me out because I'm a little little stupid on that one. Uh, and then it shows that we might also be getting a new a Pokemon pop. Uh, these look like these are Target systems, so we might be getting some Target exclusive um, Pokemon and anime pops. And um, this is a cool one. This one stuck out to me and my friend Chris the most. Danny Phantom. You know what I'm talking about? He's a phantom. So if that's the true one, that's gonna be really cool. Me one I definitely need to chase. You know, it was one of my favorite shows growing up, and it's just one of those pops that you like. It's like you look at it, you're like, I gotta have it. So if these are all rumored to be true, that that's gonna be insane. Another one we have another Disney pop that you know plays a big role, and it's probably gonna be one of those chase after ones. Uh, we have two of them actually. Stitch when he's all carrying the cakes around, and he has a little hat on. Stitch is a baker, is what it shows here. But you know, that's the picture basically. I'm gonna put them all up on the screen as well. Um, I don't know if I don't know if my editor's gonna want to do the piece by piece or he's gonna do all at once. Probably gonna do it all at once though. We're gonna start at the beginning and then go through and have some flashes of them in between maybe. Uh, we also have uh, Jiminy Cricket, uh, which my uh, middle school football coach is very famous for as well. Uh, you mess up, Jiminy Cricket. Well, he doesn't say it like that, but I don't want to do an impersonation of him. That sounds horrible because I know it does. We have Master of the Universe. We have Ninja. Um, they've been doubling down on these Master of the Universe pops recently, so it doesn't. So I don't see why not add a few more at New York City Comic Con, because you know for sure those are gonna move and it's gonna look like the, the line is doing well, even if it isn't. You know the comments and stuff like that aren't. There's another one that I'm very, very, very. Oh, actually, also King Hiss from Monster, Masters of the Universe. That's another one we're looking at there. Um, I'm not too familiar with Masters of the Universe, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I am. Uh, but you know, I know the line does well amongst older collectors and stuff like that so people who are more familiar with the show so that, that that's fine and all you know what i'm saying i'm not here to say your line sucks you know because it's that's just not how it works i have lines that i can't move because people don't buy them you know what i mean but it's i collect it and i collect what i like so that's just how that works but this one this one is the grail i have to have it is barnacle boy <laughs> i don't need to say much about it you know barnacle boy that's just a big part of my childhood. SpongeBob was a big part of my, part of my childhood. I want to chase those pops as well, but those are just some of them. Uh, some of them are just so pricey, especially the older ones. So that's what's kind of rough about it, collecting those. But, bah, excuse me, but Barnacle Boy is definitely gonna be one I have to take a run at. Uh, how if you watch How I Met Your Mother, Robin Sparkles, that's another rumored pop for New York City Comic Con. Um, which you know more about that than me, but I've watched a few episodes and I know I've, I've seen the character. I just don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, wasn't it like she's it's like her because she's from Canada, right? Wasn't it like her her cartoon? She was like a sitcom uh, actor in or a teenage a youth app, something like that. So and Funko is finishing off the Recyclops line with the V three V three. Um, according to this rumor, um. The Recyclops V3 will be in play for New York City Comic Con, which also it's weird because I think one of the first office exclusive New York City Comic Con pops was a Dwight. It was the bobblehead. And I think that was actually the first one of the first Dwight pops besides the common waves. Um, so that's a pretty cool one. We have Wolfman Bart. Uh, that's another cool one. I can't remember exactly what it's from. I want to say it's from the from the, the Trials of Horror, but you know, I don't want to be wrong and say that. So if that's not, then help me out. Uh, Funko is continuing their, 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 uh, releasing of the, according to this, they're releasing their, they're going to continue releasing the child pops. Uh, this one's going to be the child with a necklace. I haven't seen the, I haven't seen Mandalorian. Don't, don't judge me on that one. Uh, I just haven't seen it yet. I haven't sat down and watched it. That's my thing, but, um, I would definitely want to. We're also getting a 10 inch beast man from Masters of the Universe. Uh, so if you're into that, you're, you're going to have a lot of money to spend now. If you're into the Masters of the Universe line. Um, the boys, they recently reached the, announced the whole line, um, and all that. We already have the freaking, the first delay where they said the, there's a, one of the, the Amazon exclusive pop is going to be delayed until 2021, or no, not 2021, it was 20, it was like mid-21, something like that. Uh, we also have a Harry Potter pop for all you Harry Potter fans, because, you know, we can't leave you out for New York City Comic Con. These are rumors, of course, but it's rumored, I've seen this rumor before, so it makes sense. Uh, the Ron at the World Cup pop. Which is, I think they did the Harry at the World Cup for San Diego Comic Con, if I remember correctly. So yeah, so you know, finishing up that. Um, another one that I've seen a lot of buzz on. If this is true, it's gonna be highly sought after, highly expensive. It is the Red Goblin pop. Uh, it is a Marvel pop. You know, 
Red Goblin, I believe that is, we don't have that one yet. So that's one that's definitely going to be out there. Going to be going crazy for that one. So I've already seen people going crazy for it in comment sections. Uh, this last one here is one of mine that I'm going to have to chase if I have, if, if it's true. It is the Mr. Compressed Pop from My Hero Academia. Uh, this, it's, it's, you know, the character itself hasn't had a whole lot to do with the story. He's played some key parts. He's done some key things uh, in, as a part of what the villains are trying to do in the show. But, you know, he's not one of those huge characters yet. But it's, gonna be, it's probably going to end up like how Dobby and Stain did, where they kind of started slow out the gate. And then their value just jumped and jumped and jumped over time. You know what I mean? That's probably what's going to happen there. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is just, like I said, this is just speculation. These are rumors. Uh, but there's a lot of these. So, it's hard for me to believe that, you know, at least not, that, ah, not at least half of these are true. You know what I mean? So, I guess we'll see what happens there. And, you know, that's been that. We, we're going to be trying to get the content out. I'm trying to get news out as soon as possible. And so that we can get that uploaded and done. And so we can get that to you. You know, just in case you don't follow the pages that I follow. Or you don't see the things that I see on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. You know, stuff like that. So, I, so that, that. And I'm also working on some kind of some other stuff behind the scenes. So let me know if there's anything else you want to see. And, you know, I'm trying to work that in and see what we can do there. Because I want to be sure I'm making content that y'all are enjoying. Uh, so that with that being said, though, this has been the NYCC. 2020 online con rumors rumors remember keyword rumors people don't be like quoting me on twitter tweeting me at tweeting that funko talking about uh marcus from pop this and pop that said that you're gonna make these pops <laughs> because it's not it's not necessarily true yet okay but when it is we'll be excited and we'll go crazy like we always do but anyway other than that thank you for stopping by thank you for watching the videos i appreciate you spending your time with us today it means the world to me so please make sure you like the video, share it if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and make sure you turn on notifications so you never, ever, 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 ever miss a pop this and pop that upload. So thank you for all that. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. You just stepped into the jungle. My dogs, we ready to rumble. Drop in the bed, no you fumble. She did not on the waist like a buckle. They hate it, they hate it.